For centuries, the Sahara has stood as a barrier, an endless sea of sand dictating where life can thrive. But Egypt is rewriting that narrative. Faced with a booming population and food insecurity, the nation is turning the desert into an opportunity. The New Delta Project is Egypt's boldest move yet, transforming vast stretches of arid land into the world's largest new agricultural zone. This isn't just about growing crops, it's about planting hope and securing the nation's future. Imagine a new green patch spreading across the desert, visible even from space, a testament to human ingenuity. The project aims to create a new agricultural heartland, reducing reliance on imports and opening new economic pathways. It's a strategic answer to the challenges of the 21st century, pushing the boundaries of engineering and resource management. From ancient times to today, Egyptians have sought to master their environment. Now, they're turning the Sahara from a symbol of scarcity into one of abundance. This is more than a national project. It's a beacon of what's possible when we dare to dream big. The story of Egypt's new delta is just beginning, but its ambition is already reshaping the map of what's possible. West of the Nile Delta, the New Delta Project is taking root across more than 9,000 square kilometers, an area larger than some countries. Satellite images reveal vibrant green fields emerging along the El Daba Cairo Highway, a striking contrast to the desert. At the heart of this transformation is a 170-kilometer artificial river, a massive feat of engineering and investment. Supporting it is the world's largest wastewater and sludge treatment plant, completed in 2023 and holding four Guinness World Records. This plant recycles 7.5 million cubic meters of water daily, turning waste into a resource for agriculture. Together, the river and treatment plant form the backbone of the new delta, overcoming the desert's greatest challenge, water scarcity. This isn't just about moving water, it's about building a sustainable integrated system for life and productivity. Egypt's vision is a demonstration of how modern infrastructure can turn barren land into a thriving oasis. Building a 170-kilometer river in the desert required meticulous planning and immense effort. This artificial waterway is the lifeline of the new delta, distributing water with precision across challenging terrain. Engineers constructed sophisticated pumping stations and lined the riverbed to conserve every drop. The urgency is clear. Egypt's growing population needs food security, and this river is critical infrastructure. It marks a shift from relying solely on nature to actively creating resources for survival. This man-made river is a symbol of hope, showing that humanity can shape its environment to meet pressing needs. Egypt's new river is nurturing not just crops, but a vision for a sustainable future. The New Delta's water doesn't come from a single source. It's a carefully balanced blend. The Al Hammam plant recycles agricultural drainage water from the old Nile Delta, turning waste into a solution for scarcity. Powerful pumps draw groundwater from ancient aquifers beneath the Sahara, providing a crucial second stream. A canal links the project to the Nile's Rosetta branch, supplementing recycled and groundwater supplies. This three-pronged approach, recycled water, groundwater, and Nile water, creates a resilient, flexible system. Constant monitoring and management ensure sustainability balancing immediate needs with long-term goals. By diversifying its water sources, Egypt is building a robust system to withstand climate and demand challenges. This symphony of water sources is what will allow the desert to bloom. The New Delta's water strategy is a model for future arid region agriculture. Transforming the Sahara raises tough environmental questions, especially about water sustainability. Egypt is already water scarce, and the New Delta's demand adds pressure to limited resources. Heavy reliance on non-renewable groundwater risks, depleting ancient aquifers, threatening future generations, 
large-scale agriculture could disrupt fragile desert ecosystems and lead to soil salinization if not managed carefully. The project's focus on recycling water is a step towards sustainability, but the balance is delicate. Success depends on managing extraction rates, soil health, and ecosystem impacts with advanced techniques. The world is watching to see if Egypt can create a model for sustainable development or a cautionary tale. The stakes are high. Food security today versus ecological health tomorrow. Egypt's ambition extends beyond agriculture. It's building a new trans-Saharan road to connect Africa. This strategic corridor will link Egypt, Libya, and Chad, transforming the Sahara from a barrier into a bridge. For landlocked Chad, the road promises direct access to Mediterranean ports, unlocking economic potential. Spanning 1,730 kilometers, the route is designed to connect key economic zones and population centers. More than just a highway, it's an artery of commerce and a symbol of cross-border cooperation. The project challenges the old view of the Sahara as an isolator, asserting that modern engineering can overcome geography. By paving this path, Egypt and its partners are building bridges between cultures and economies. The road is a bold act of defiance against natural obstacles, aiming for a more integrated Africa. It's a vision of a continent where goods, people, and ideas move freely. The Trans-Saharan Road is as much about unity as it is about infrastructure. The Trans-Saharan Highway is a multinational effort, with each country building its section. Egypt is already constructing its 400-kilometer stretch from al to the Libyan border. In Libya, Egypt's Arab Contractors Company is leading studies and designs for the 390-kilometer segment to Chad. Chad's 930-kilometer section, the longest and most challenging, is also being planned with Egyptian expertise. This section-by-section -section approach allows for parallel progress and shared responsibility. Diplomatic visits and agreements are fueling momentum, turning plans into action. The project is a showcase of pan-African cooperation and practical strategy. Each milestone brings the dream of a connected continent closer to reality. No megaproject succeeds alone. International cooperation is key. The World Bank's $170 million grant for Chad's infrastructure complements the new Egypt-Chad road, boosting regional connectivity. Efforts to improve navigation on Lake Chad show a holistic approach, shifting cargo from roads to water and reducing emissions. This network of partnerships, African nations, global institutions, and engineering firms forms the backbone of these projects. It's a model for 21st century development shared challenges, shared solutions. South-South cooperation is driving progress with African expertise building Africa's future. Diplomacy, finance, and engineering are turning blueprints into reality. As of November 2025, the Sahara is being reimagined. From isolation to connection, from emptiness to opportunity. Egypt's new delta and the Trans-Saharan Highway are converging forces, reshaping North and Central Africa. The greening of the desert offers food security and new communities. The road unlocks economic potential for landlocked nations. Together, they promise a more interconnected, resilient Africa. The journey isn't without challenges. Environmental, political, and logistical hurdles remain. Success will require balancing ambition with sustainability and cooperation with stewardship. Yet, hope prevails. These projects are testaments to human ingenuity and belief in a better future. The Sahara may soon tell a new story of green fields, bustling highways, and a continent more connected than ever. Egypt's vision is a reminder that with courage and collaboration, we can transform even the harshest landscapes.